All right, this is Bakhtar's Academy back with some practical tips on physical conditioning for sword fighting. Here we're going to overview uh, what, what I first learned as kind of a five to seven minute abs workout and did some additions. We're all the, once you get the hang of this routine, you can do it in about seven to 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to go with about 30 second intervals of each exercise I show you, and that's what I'll suggest starting with. If 30 seconds is overwhelming, it's okay. T tame it back to uh, 15 or 20 seconds and gradually build yourself up. Let yourself take about a five to 10 second rest break in between. Uh, where possible, I'll talk about how the body might um, apply this parallel. Here's the conditioning. What are, what are we thinking of visualizing doing in sword fighting and how might that help? Um, and I might do condensed rounds just for sake of time on video here. Uh, so the first thing we would start with on this 10 minute core workout is 30 seconds of lifting toes to ceiling from flat on back, toes point out about a foot above the ground, ceiling, ground, ceiling, point out in front. It's this motion, about 30 seconds. Come down for a brief rest. Next up is called windshield wipers. I'm going to point our toes straight up to the sky again, and we're going to make a windshield wiper motion side to side. Uh, do this while making sure your, your abdominal and core muscles are what's bracing you to the ground below. About 30 seconds. This is pivoting and keeping strength in our center, our core, as we're adjusting the direction of our body from any given position. Okay, that's windshield wipers. Next up, this looks a little goofy, but does a lot. Our hands are gonna come up over our head and leg comes up, opposite arm comes up. Lift like you're giving a high five to your shin, or you can do a clap underneath your leg, alternating the sides. High five shin, high five shin. The clap motion will do a few just for demo. It really forces you to lift that leg high. It gets your arms and full body more in motion. You can have some cardio exertion. That's the third exercise. Fourth, and it can take a few seconds. Give yourself a breath. Fourth, as we go down to mountain climbers again, plank position, high knees up to chest, 30 seconds. Again, we're using anything that we're ever going to lunge forward with. Your core through your knees, being able to lift off and exert forward momentum is how that's going to be applied to to sword fighting, you do a full 30 seconds. Next up is an abs focus and kind of a fun parallel to sword fighting blocks as I like to envision it. So sitting, 
Try to get our bony part of our butt flat on the ground. Knees come up, feet cross, side to side, using the core, flexing your abdomen. As you put hands, elbows, one side of torso, other side of torso. 15 seconds one way. And cross your legs back over. You can envision as you do this, I'm actually outward blocking, outward blocking. Pull my elbow, wrist back to take a block, take a block. This is a body pivot block and working your core. If you want to visualize doing the blocking as you pivot, use it, practice it. You'll think about getting a good body mechanic where you pivot your, your weapon block right over where you're going to guard your hip, your abdomen. So in real life combat, instead of doing here, just, just your arm and still maybe getting wrapped, it's torquing your body, elbow sideways, so you're going to have a really secure perpendicular block on people's wide wraps. Hand floating right above that hip and abdomen that you got to protect. Okay, so there's side to side. You can do that with a medicine ball too. If you want to add some challenge, add some weight. All right, that was our fifth exercise. Here's number six, affectionately called Spider-Man planks. Go back into a plank position. I like to give a little knee up and across a few seconds. And here, knee is up and outside for 15 seconds holding. Right knee is hovering next to right elbow. Lift it on a plank, go full 15 seconds, put the leg back, come over to the other one. Left knee is hovering towards left elbow and plank. Hold for your full 15 seconds and come back down. So 15 seconds each side, there's your Spider-Man plank. We'll come back to a flat on back position, legs upright. We'll cool down for a moment. Toe tips up, make circles one way, pointing towards the ceiling. I'm just drawing a circle repeated one direction, 15 seconds. Repeat it opposite direction, 15 seconds. You're trying to stimulate how your feet are moving down here with your belly button and your lower abdomen. And down. Okay. Here's another one that looks goofy and to me works wonders. Toes up. Imagine there's a rope going from between your belly button and solar plexus up to the ceiling. Reach and grab and slowly pull down, climbing that rope up. 30 seconds. You're lifting your chest slightly up towards your knees with your abdomen. And take this gentle crawl like kick stroke if need be with your feet really trying to keep the work happening from your abdomen thirty seconds there okay our next one, we're going to come back to our plank position. Here we're going to do an elbows up plank. So plank to the ground, up to elbows, fists in front of my face, elbows down with some spread underneath me. And this is a, a pivoting dip. So. And on my right side, go down to my hip is almost at my mat, just hovering an inch or two above the ground. 
hold it there a few seconds and back up. Like one, two, three, side hover, back up to straight. One, two, three, side hover, back up to straight. And go for about, these can be really intense at first. You can try about five either side. If that really maxes you out, that's okay. Work your way up to about seven either side or up to 20 total, 10 either side. And again, you're getting a lot of this abdomen in all dimensions and not just the, the center, but a lot of your obliques. And anything pivoting, anything swinging, anything adjusting direction, sideways lunging, this will build the stability for that. And we'll come back to a final one laying on the back. <clears throat> and do some scissor kicking legs. You can put hands under your butt a little bit as a support if you like. Feet up. And start with flutter kicks. 30 seconds of flutter kicks, just back forth like you would flutter kick doing a crawl swimming stroke. Again, you're engaging down here in your lower abdomen to support what's going on up in your legs. Then you can change them up, 30, second, 30 second chunk. It's gonna be side to side scissors. Back down, give yourself a nice couple of few deeper, shorter, longer breaths. You can let your body melt into your mat. Letting go while staying present and conscious in your body. And there you have uh, a roughly 10 minute core workout. Uh, if you're looking to up the challenge, you can gradually work up to 40 seconds instead of 30 second increments for each exercise. And you can do the same routine two circuits in a row back to back. Here I've done just about 10 to 15 minutes with you. I'm starting to work up a little bit of a sweat. You'll feel the exertion of a workout. You never had to go to the gym. You never had to involve any fancy machines or weights. So good luck to this empowering you with some routines you can use on your own at home.